This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 17th of November. I'm James Spann. Cold is the word. The sky clearing. We're expecting record lows tomorrow morning. Wednesday morning, very cold as well. Next interesting possibility, maybe some severe weather at the end of the weekend ahead. A lot of things to talk about, so let's take a look. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots around the network today. This is coming from Gadsden. The sky there clearing nicely late this afternoon. Uh, this is the view coming from Little River Falls. I came in by Twitter today. Love that shot. The creeks are really flowing uh, after the big rain we had uh, last night. That's coming from Huntsville up in the Tennessee Valley. The sky there is sunny. And that's our uh, Inverness sky cam overlooking Highway 280. And we note that there's still some flooding issues uh, down in the low spot there, down below the uh, Wingate Inn, where they had all kind of traffic nightmares this morning. Uh, parts of Shelby County had seven inches of rain over the past 36 hours. Goodness gracious. Well, look at that. That speaks volumes. That's about as cold as it gets. A cross-polar flow delivering this kind of air down into the deep south. Mid-afternoon, temperatures over north Alabama, barely above freezing. Upper 30s and low 40s around here. And you know, once that sun goes down, numbers will come on down pretty quickly. And by the way, the wind is going to stay up tonight, so we're going to see wind chill indices maybe down below 10 degrees at times early tomorrow morning. Around the nation... Warm air, about the only place to find it, the southern tip of Florida. And even there, we're starting to run out of real estate as the cold front advances down to the south. In fact, there's a tornado watch in effect uh, for areas in advance of the front along Interstate 4 from Tampa up to Orlando and Daytona Beach until 8 o'clock Eastern time tonight. Here, look at the watch warning map around the nation. Up north, we have pockets of winter weather advisories. We have some heavy snow warnings for the lake effect snow belts up there. Uh, this is the severe weather risk for the rest of today and tonight, the standard slight risk from uh, roughly Interstate 4 in Florida up to near the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay, a marginal threat up to Cape Cod. And the overall rain for the next five days, this valid through uh, Saturday morning, and this is basically suggesting nothing because this counts the rain we had early this morning. Uh, this is kind of discounting any chance of rain on Friday, which might be the right solution. Uh, the next decent rain event should be at the end of the weekend, and we wonder if that might pose a severe weather threat to parts of the Deep South. We'll see. In fact, let's take a look at modeling. The GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 12 noon. And this is at 500 millibars, and there's that powerful cold trough over the east. And down below that, the 540 thickness line is below Montgomery. You know it's going to be cold. Coming off the snow fields up north, uh, we'll start the day around 18 or 19. Uh, the high, probably 34 to 37. But at least the sky will be sunny, and the wind will die down during the day. This is Wednesday. The surface high should be over us early Wednesday morning. And again, I'd say lows between 18 and 22. And probably Wednesday we'll see a big range because of the radiational cooling. The valleys, cold. The ridge tops not as cold. But everybody way below freezing. And then during the day, we start to warm up. We'll climb up in the upper 40s on Wednesday. Thursday, hey, we go up in the 50s. The uh, GFS is printing 58. And this is Friday, the latest GFS here, as you can see, backing down on the chance of showers Friday. It's got the uh, moisture axis well to the west of the state. So I think that's probably correct. We'll mention maybe just a slight chance of a shower Friday. But if this is right, we'll have no rain. And the high could be in the low 60s. And again, you know, it seems so warm, but understand that's almost where we should be. Our, our statistical high, low to mid 60s here in late November. All right, Saturday as we kick off the weekend, we've got a 1032 high on the middle Atlantic coast. And it looks like that's going to keep us dry. And again, pretty comfortable. The high should be in the uh, low 60s on Saturday. Uh, the next wave producing rain over Texas and Oklahoma, and this is Sunday. And that energy rotates through here. And again, this is a strong to severe storm type look Sunday. Now, this is Sunday morning at 6 a.m., uh, it's got a surface low near St. Louis, well under 1,000 millibars, with a trailing batch of showers and storms in the warm sector down here. So uh, just something to watch in the timing, the intensity. We don't know that yet. We'll have a better feel for it by Wednesday and Thursday when it gets a little closer, but just something to watch. For now, it looks like Sunday, at least part of the day, could be wet, maybe stormy, and maybe some severe weather chance. And then Monday, the, uh, the, the air is drier over the northern part of the state, and uh, Temperatures still fairly mild. The cold air is up north of here. Rain to the south. And uh, we'll jump ahead to uh, Wednesday the 27th. This is Thanksgiving Eve. And again, uh, the busiest travel day of the year for a lot of people. Strong upper low showing up on the Gulf Coast. And if this by chance is correct, uh, it would be colder. 
uh, for us. And rain would be on the middle Atlantic, in fact, really the whole Atlantic coast, all the way from Jacksonville to uh, you know Atlantic City and Boston and Cape Cod and Portland, Maine. Uh, and that would be a rain event, no snow involved. But again, this is in the land of voodoo. This is beyond seven days. This will probably change. We're just looking at ideas. But if this happens to be correct, it would be colder. Not the kind of cold we have today, but uh, that would be noticeably cooler. This is the end of the forecast on the 3rd of December. Heights about where they should be. And down below that, maybe a few showers east of here. And temperatures once again about where they should be for this time of the year. Look at the temperatures coming off the ensemble for the next 15 days. You can see we warm up to near 70 Sunday and Monday. And then we cool off for uh, Thanksgiving week. This is suggesting highs by Wednesday and Thursday could be in the upper 40s with lows around freezing. Again, nothing like the cold we have now, but it will still be considerably below average if this is right. Look at the... Uh, uh, Teleconnections, this is the AO, the Arctic Oscillation, positive for the end of the month, which again kind of shuts off the flow of this cross-polar air we're getting. And the North Atlantic Oscillation trends towards the neutral line. So again, this should be the last in the series of these really, really cold snaps. And uh, while it certainly looks cool for Thanksgiving, nothing like the air we have right now now. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.